What's up, everyone? This is Carve Destiny. I'm here to do a little explanation for people who are still confused on exactly how you perform Stride and all the other little rules about it, and also the rules on G Assist. So, start off. We're gonna start with Stride first. Uh, we're gonna start with Stride, and then I'm gonna work my way into G Assist to help you guys. Stride. In order to Stride, first and foremost, you need to have the criteria met. First off, both you and your opponent have to be on a grade 3 unit. Uh, second, you have to be able to pay the cost, which is discarding cards whose total grade level equals 3 or more. So, you can discard a grade 3, you can discard two grade 2s, you can discard a grade 2 and a grade 1, you can discard three grade 1s, and at the same time you can drop any number of grade zeros from your hand that you'd like. Why would you want to drop grade zeros? Uh, if you need to try and ins if you want to set up for a legion and if you're running stride in a legion deck, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, so yeah, you have that as your options. Now, after you've paid the cost, you have to take a, fa a unit that's face down in your G zone and you stride it over your vanguard. Stride, uh, you stride it over your vanguard. When the stride happens, your vanguard moves into what's known as the heart, which is basically just a glorified soul. Uh, a vanguard in the heart cannot be touched for soul blast skills. Also, as long as your vanguard remains in the heart, your vanguard, uh, your vanguard is giving your your G unit its base attack power and its name. So basically, everything from down here. Sometimes I like to when I when I stride I like to uh, just play my uh, play my G unit like that so that my opponent knows that my G unit is treated as interdimensional dragon mystery flare dragon and chrono jet dragon and its power is 15k plus 11k. Things to note: G units do not gain the skill of the heart. So when you stride, your G unit is not gaining all the uh, everything right in the middle. It's just gaining the name and the base power. G units do not gain cross ride power because cross ride is a skill. When you cross ride, your unit says, "Power." Your unit says, "If X is in the soul, power plus 2,000." So, let's say you stride over. Let's say you're playing D, uh, D Robos and you stride Harmonics Messiah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh my God. You stride Harmonics Messiah over, what is it, uh, uh, Ultimate Dimension Robo Great Deck Heiser. Harmonics Messiah is not gaining power plus 13,000, it's gaining power plus 11,000. Now, since I'm showing Chrono Jet Dragon, when, uh, uh, this, is a, this is a special case where a skill will activate when you stride because Chrono Jet Dragon is what I like to call a heartbreaker. Heartbra uh, heartbreaker meaning a, G, a uh, unit whose skill uh, who activates a skill when stride is performed. That is similar to break ride. I will get to this in a moment. Uh, in Chrono Jet Dragon's case, when any G unit uh, performs stride over him, Chrono Jet Dragon's skill activates, which is you counterblast one. You choose one of your opponent's uh, rear guards, and your opponent puts that on the bottom of the deck. Another another heartbreaker is, and I should have taken her out. Uh, Renunculus Flower Maiden Asha. When a G unit strides over her, you search your deck for a unit that has the same name as a unit you chose off uh, off of your rearguard circle. Call it to rearguard circle and give it power plus 2,000 until the end of the turn. And then you have Altsmile, whose skill I do not know because I don't care. Uh, so that's pretty much that. That is the only time any sort of skill will activate when a stride is performed outside of a G unit whose skill activates when it performs stride. Moving on to break the aforementioned break ride. Uh, when you perform stride over a break ride, again, you gain the 11k base power and you gain the name. What you do not get is the break ride skill. Because stride is not riding. Stride is striding. Striding is not the same as riding. Think of it as when you place uh, Pelinor on your vanguard with his skill. Uh, Pelinor does not break ride. 
it's the same thing. It's placing a unit. So, let's say I was to stride, uh... Technically speaking, because at the end of the month I can't shard this, let's say this is Harmonix Messiah because I don't own Harmonix Messiah. If I was to shard Harmonix Messiah over Infinite Zero Dragon, Infinite Zero Dragon's name and power would be added to him, but it would not gain an extra 10,000, nor would I be able to lock a card in the front row and the back row. That doesn't work, unfortunately. It's just, I performed stride. Done. <clears throat> now, other things. Because, uh... Just because it showed it, you can also stride over limit break unit. Uh, just because it showed it in the teaser, in the teaser pictures back when stride was being explained, you can stride over limit break units. It doesn't affect anything because again, all it's doing is gaining the name and the power. Now, getting on to Legion. If you have a Legion Vanguard when you perform stride, you have to now make a choice. When you perform stride, you choose which unit is being stridden over. You either choose, in this case, Rising Star Tross or Top Idol Revere to be the heart. Both will go into the heart, but only one counts as the heart. So, it's either you choose Top Idol Revere and gain 10,000 power, or you choose Rising Star Tross and gain 11,000 power. You do not gain 21,000, or in the case of normal legions, 20,000 power. Because again, that is a printed skill, not its base power. Also, at, once you're done with Stride, uh, leg, uh, the units return to the field as Legion. They enter the Heart in Legion, they leave the Heart in Legion. They don't, uh, it's not, okay, Stride's over, uh, the, heart, the Heart rides over the Vanguard. It's, they enter in Legion, they stay, they leave in Legion. Uh, other thing I'm trying, I know there was something else about Legion that I'm trying to remember. No, there, there, wasn't, there wasn't anything else. But also, there are some other things. Let's say your Vanguard was deleted. When you perform Stride, the first thing that happens is your Vanguard gets undeleted, and then you Stride and gain pa and uh, then you Stride and, and uh, it goes from there. I personally don't like this. Mostly because of something else I'm going to bring up in a moment. I personally feel that with when it came to deleters, you could still perform Stride over your Vanguard because it's still a grade 3 and all that stuff. Uh, but... I feel that it should have been, okay, I short over deleted Vanguard, okay, the cards get undeleted in the, in the heart, but I don't gain power because at the time, their print, its printed power is zero, because that is what delete skill does, it turns its printed power to zero. But that's just me ranting a little bit, but again, it's mostly for the reason of, let's say you stride over a stunned Vanguard that got stunned by Mega Colony. When you stride over a stunned Vanguard, your your G unit is stridden in the same position as the Vanguard. Thus, you don't stride and stand; you stride and rest. This is why I'm annoyed with Bushi Road about the deleter thing. I wouldn't have been as pissed off if it's like, okay, when I stride over a stunned Vanguard, I stride stand, because it's like, okay, it's fair and balanced. Nothing. Anything that anything that gets that can screw over a vanguard, stride can fix. But no, bugs get the fix, not the leaders. So the leaders, a clan that came out when stride was also first introduced, got the shaft, a very big shaft. Oh my. Anyway, okay, so that's pretty much it for the explanation on stride itself. Now let's get on to good old G assist. Okay, I'm gonna say my vanguard's grade two. G assist. Happens like happens as followed. You uh, let's say your grade stuck on a grade two. You reveal your hand to your opponent to show that you do not have a grade higher than your vanguard on board. You search your deck for you search not search your deck. Excuse me. You then look at the top five cards of your deck to search for a grade uh, one grade that is higher than your vanguard than your current vanguard, and you add it to your hand. Then, then. You take two cards from your hand, you remove them from the game. You take two face down G units, and you remove them from the game. That is G assist. And to me, it doesn't work. First and foremost, you have to reveal your whole hand to your opponent. So, if G assist does not go through, uh, first off, if G assist doesn't go through, let's say you missed the grade, you didn't find the grade, uh, the grade higher than your vanguard that you needed, Nothing happens. You shuffle the deck, 
That's it. You don't banish two cards out of your hand. You don't banish two G units. Uh, but, on the flip side, now you have one slight negative. Your opponent now knows your hand. Yes, well, yes, if you're grade locked, you're kind of screwed to begin with, but at times, you were, you were able to still, you would still be able to hold out even when grade locked because being grade locked against a Legion deck or a Stride deck makes it now that they can't perform Stride and they can't perform Legion. So, being grade locked is a slight benefit sometimes against certain decks, but now that they know your hand, they can go, oh, okay, he only has a couple of 5k shields. Let's rush him, or, okay, he has a lot of 10k shields. Let me take my time and work and work those 10k shields into Oblivion. A lot of times when you're on a grade 2 and you're grade locked, you can still play mind games with your opponent and go, and uh, make them think you have a buttload of 10k shields. Or you're just, or you have enough that you can guard through the attacks. Not so much anymore when you uh, do G-Assist. Yes, it has some good benefits, but at the same time, to me, those ben the uh, bad outweighs the good. So, that's pretty much just everything I needed to explain about Stride, and about G-Assist, about the new mechanics that we were introduced to uh, as of now with the G-Child X, and that we're going to be introduced to more of come G-Booster 1 in two, uh, come G-Booster 1 next week. So, this is Cardfight Destiny signing out, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.